Hey, hey, hey everyone. I'm Ruben Liu and I'm a photographer and video producer and digital creative based in Malaysia. I'm a creative lead in an advertising agency and run a production house at the same time. My aim with this channel is to equip budding creatives to kickstart their journey and cover a space in this industry. If that resonates with you, do consider subscribing. Hope that ASMR unboxing brought you some pingly joy. The rest of the video is going to centre around my thoughts on the Canon Selfie Square QX10, what I see it being useful for, and how it compares to the earlier portable photo printers from Canon. I'll be revealing more ASMR shots in between each segment too, so I hope you guys uh, love that style of shots. So what are my thoughts on the QX10? So while the Canon Selfie Square QX10 is a portable printer that's directly aimed at the instant Polaroid market, the technology used to produce the print is completely different. Canon uses the same layering printing that's been used for about a decade where the image is printed one hue at a time before a seal is placed over it. It's really therapeutic to look at the printing process. And with many photo printers changing the contrast and white balance of the output, I find that the QX10 stays quite true to the original photo, which may sometimes uh, make it seem a little dull compared to over contrasty pictures. Um, but yeah, I like the fact that printing through your mobile device is pretty easy going. You just have to make sure that you have the right app installed, the selfie photo layout app. I honestly hope that Canon can combine their multiple photo printing apps into one so that I don't have to keep so many apps on my phone. I do hope that we'll be able to print directly from Canon cameras instead of having to transfer the photo to a mobile phone first in the future. That will make the ecosystem a little bit more seamless. The Canon Selfie Square QX10 is a simple portable photo printer that's easy to use, reliable and accurate. The photos that come out of it are crisp and I personally like that they are adhesive too, so you can stick them anywhere. In terms of use cases, there are a few ways I can see myself or other people using the Canon Selfie Square QX10. The first is of course for fun. It's a fun and simple device and I can see myself printing photos of fond memories either for a scrapbook or to pass around as gifts to friends. When it comes to event photography, you're always looking for a way to differentiate yourself from the crowded competition. I can see providing selected instant prints to clients as a nice way to create fondness and build a strong relationship with your clients, especially if you're shooting a wedding or birthday. I've been using the Canon Mini Photo Printer for my last few shoots for this, but the quality that comes out of the QX10 seems a little bit more long-lasting. When it comes to event printing, I wouldn't recommend using the QX10 unless you have a few phones and printers on standby. Each print takes about 90 seconds to complete, uh, so you may end up with a huge bottleneck. Then again, there are commercial photo printers available for that kind of work. The QX10 shines if you have no power around and just need to print maybe 5 photos max. So now I'd like to compare it to the Canon Mini Photo Printer. Called the Canon IV in some regions, the Canon Mini Photo Printer launched a few years ago with the Canon Inspic S and C camera photo printers using the, about the same printing technology. The cool thing about the technology here is that they, there's no need to replace the ink as the ink is basically in the paper itself and the colour is just technically lasered through heat. Just needing to refill the paper makes the printer easier to maintain and cheaper to refill. The QX10 on the other hand requires both ink and paper refills which will probably bring up the operating cost quite a bit. Both are portable and easy to connect to via their respective app, even though they should theoretically be the same app. And both also uh, have their adhesive papers which makes uh, for pretty interesting use cases. 
Quality-wise, the technology of the QX10 is more tried and tested. My Canon Selfie ES1 over here uh, from 2006 uses the same layering technology, so I'm quite confident in the prints lasting a long time. Let me put this away. Ah. In comparison, some of my prints with the mini photo printer from a few years back have started to yellow. If you plan to have a photos for a short while, the mini photo printer delivers a cheaper cost per print. But the QX10's um, photo paper quality and technology is definitely far more long lasting. I used to bring either the Inspic or the mini photo printer with me for, on all my photography shoots so that I can deliver something nice to my clients at the end of the day. Now that I have the QX10, I think I may prefer it over them, which means I now have multiple photo printers that I don't use anymore. A little disclaimer to get out of the way, while I am a Canon EOS Youth Ambassador, I have not been commissioned by Canon to make this video and they had no say in the production of this video. They did provide me the Canon Selfie Square QX10 in return to some work I did for them. If you have any questions about Canon Selfie Square QX10, ask me in the comments and I'll get to them when I can. Also, let me know if you would participate in the giveaway for the Canon Mini printer that I have. Uh, do like this video too if it brought you any value. That's all I have for today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.